Okay, let's start with math class. Factors in multiples, page 217. Yesterday, we started working on this page, but it was missing some exercises. So let's finish this page and then the next page. So have ready your book. Just as a review class, what is a factor? Who knows what is a factor? It's a factor of multiply. So for multiply. Yes, yeah, so two numbers that you multiply, they are considered factors like three times two, for example. What is the answer of three that times two? Six. 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 Okay, so three and two, they are going to be the factors, the factors, factors of six. That's right. So they are factors. But the number six is going to be a multiply. A multiply. Mm -hmm. Factors of six, number six. And what is number six? It's a multiply. Multiply. Yes, it's a multiple. So this, it's going to be, I'm going to write here. Multiple of what? Multiple of three. And this is a multiple of two. So the, number six, it's a multiple of three and two. Why? Because in the table of three, you can find six, three times two or two times three, right? So number six, it's a multiple of three and also a multiple of two. The factors, three is a factor of six and two is a factor of six. So these two numbers, they are factors of six. Sometimes a number can have more than two factors like this, three times two. If you multiply six times one, it's six also. So six and one, they are factors of six also. Rebecca, you have any question, Rebecca? No. No. Oh, okay. So that is just as a reminder. Now let's continue on page, in page 217. Yesterday we worked on this part. Remember, we identify if 20 is a factor or multiple of these numbers. And we say that 20 is it's what? Of number 10. We say that it's a multiple, right? We completed this. 20, we say that 20 is a factor and also a multiple of 20. And also we identify that 30, it's not a factor, not a multiple. So we write neither here. Now, the second part, what it says, write true or false. We're going to write if it's true or false, the following statement. Number one, every whole number, it's a multiple of one. It's a true or false, class, multiple. Because in the next one, we have every whole number, it's a factor of one. So look at this question, class. Every whole number, it's a multiple of one. Remember the multiple is, as before, three times two, six, six is a multiple. So do you think that every number, it's a multiple of one? True or false? It's true. It's true. Why? Look at this. I'm going to write one example here. You can copy the examples. What happens if you multiply, for example, <clears throat> five times one? Oh, five. Five. What happens if you multiply six times one? Six. 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 Okay, excellent. What happens if you multiply two times one? Equal to two. Mm -hmm. What happens if you multiply 10 times one? 10. 10. 10. Okay, now you see here this example. What is five and one? Factor. 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 And what is five? Multiply. multiply multiple five it's a multiple of one and a multiple of five so that's why it's true you see six six is a multiple of one and a multiple of six two it's a multiple of one and a multiple of two ten it's a multiple of ten and one so that's why it's true every whole number is a multiple of one it's true this is true if you multiply any number if you multiply any number by one it's going to be the same answer. So it means that that number, it's a multiple of one. Now, do you think that every whole number using the same examples, it's a factor 
of one. Remember, yes. factors yes. are two numbers that yes. you can multiply. No, 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 no. It's yes. false. That's right. It's false. Let's write false. And we are going to see one example, some examples for this. Why it's false? Look at this number. Why? Example is for seven times one equals seven. Mm -hmm. Yes, using the same examples here. Factors are two numbers that you multiply to get a multiple. Now, we're looking for one number, one number that you multiply times any other number to get one. Give me two numbers that you multiply to get one. Um, one. One, um, times one. One. One, one times one. Okay, one times one is one, actually. But now it says every whole number. What happens if you multiply two times one? Two. No, two. One. two, it's no one. I'm looking for one multiple. So I can say that two is not a factor of one because I multiply two times one, it's two, no one. So let's write here, two, two, it's not a factor of one. You see? Every whole number can be multiple of one. Yes, that's true. And you see here, two is multiple of one, 10 is multiple of one, five is multiple of one, and six multiple of one. But every whole number, it's not a factor because two is not a factor, three is not a factor, four, and all the numbers, they are not factors. Because factors, remember, are two numbers that you multiply to get the answer, the product. And the product, we consider that it's a multiple of these two numbers that you multiply. Now, let's complete the second part of the exercise number 22. Julio, it says, here is a problem and we need to use the calendar of April. Julio wears a blue shirt every three days. And then it says that Larry wears a blue shirt every four days. On April 12th, 12 book, Julio and Larry wore a blue shirt. What is the next day that they will wear the same, the same blue, the same, uh, the, the wear a blue shirt class? So we're going to find this. So what we're going to do on the calendar, we're going to circle, yes, we can circle every three dates. So the multiples of three. So we're going to circle three, six, what else? Which other numbers? Nine. Nine, excellent. What else? Twelve. Twelve. Mm -hmm. Fifteen. Fifteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Twenty-four. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Thirty. And thirty. Excellent. So we are circling the days that this boy Julio is wearing the blue shirt. Now, Larry, Larry, it says every four days. So we're going to make a square for four days. So it's going to be four, eight, eight. Mm -hmm. 11, no. 11 or 12? 12. 12. Mm -hmm. 16. 16. 20. 20. 24. 24, excellent. 28. 28. Just that, right? 28. Okay, excellent. Now it says on the in, in the information it says both Julio and Ari wore a blue shirt on April 12th. You see, on April 12th, both they are wearing the same, the same shirt. But also it says, what is the next day? What is another day that both they're going to be wearing 24, the same? 24. 24. 24. 24. That 24. So let's write it down on April 24. That is the answer. That's right. Because the first day you see it's on April 12th that they wear the same 
the same clothes. But then on April 24 is the next day that they're going to wear it. You see, we make a circle in the square in 24 and also in 12 because they are common multiples. They have in common these days. Yes. Okay, let's go to the next page class, page 218. Finished? Yeah. Finished. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Here, page 218, number one, it says complete the pin diagram, then you use to solve 23, 24. Okay. Factors of 48, who can tell me factors of 48? Two numbers that you multiply to get 48. For example, one times 48. In the tables class, which other numbers you can multiply to get 48? Four. Mm -hmm. Four times what? Um. No. For example, two, two mm -hmm. times 24, two mm -hmm. times 24 is 48. By three, which number you multiply by three to get 48? Um, three times. Um, three times what? Times three times sixteen. Three times sixteen by four. No, we don't have by four. By four or yes? No, right? By six. Six times eight. Six times eight. What is the answer of six times eight? Forty-eight. Right. Excellent. What else? Just this. Right. Right. I think he asked. But also we can multiply four times 12. Four times 12 is 48. That's right here. Now, then it says first 12 multiples of four. The multiples of four, remember that it's a table of, of four. So we have four, eight, 12. What else? 12, 16, 16, 16. 16. 24, 24, 24, 20, 20, 28, 28, that's right, so let's write 28, what else? Uh, 32, 32, excellent, 32, 36, 36, what else? 40. 40. 40. 40. Mm -hmm. 40. Then after 40. 24. 44. And 48. Here we have 48. So you see we have in common factors of 48 and the multiples of 4. They have in common these numbers. These numbers that you see, they are in the circle in the middle. So what multiples of 4 are no factors of 48? So which numbers we're going to write this? These numbers that they are out of, of this, of the circle. So we're going to write these numbers, we're going to write here, multiples of four that are no factors. So we're going to write it down here. It's gonna be 20 in order, 28, 32, 36, 40, 40, 44. 44. And 44. Actually, there are no factors. And what factors of 48 are multiples of 4? 24. 24. In this case, we're going to write yes, that one that they are in the middle. Except, but in order, before 24, which number is the first one? It's 8, 4, 8, 4, 4, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8
48. Excellent. So there are factors of 48 are multiples of four. These numbers that you see there. Excellent. Then it says, look at the problem 24. So here in the answer 24, write a similar problem by changing the numbers then solve. Okay, no, we're not going to work on that. This is not, 25, no, we're not going to complete. Finished? 23 and 24, you finished and you copy these numbers in the Venn diagram? Yeah. Camila, Ana, Dani, your video. Yes, we're going to complete the, the last part of the page, the, the next part. Yeah, 26. 26, 27, 28, 29. No. Yay. Isabella, tell me, Isabella. Miss, you made a mistake. It were, were, tell me. In the exercise 24, it's 28. 28, where it's 28? In the... 4, 8, 12, 16, no. 24. No. 28. No. I finished. No, we don't have 28. In this part, no. Isabella, we're writing 48 multiples of four. We're copying just these numbers that they are in the middle. That's when you using that what multiplier of okay, four here, are not three. 48 here. We have 20, 28. Yes, 28 is here, 28. Exercise 24. 24. What is the mistake here? It says 48. 48? It's not 48? It's 28. 28. No. No, it's 48. Look at here. It says 48 because 48 is a factor. 12 multiples of four. <laughs> I don't understand where. It, exercise 24, this one. What factors of 48 are multiples of four? That is where you are telling me, Isabella. Because we're adding four. Mm -hmm. So it's 24 and 28. 24 and, and 28. In the first 12 multiples of 4, it's just 28, not 48. Okay. No, it's 48. It's not 28 because we're not adding. We're just writing, Isabella, is that what I was telling you? We're copying the ones that they are here, they have in common. We are writing that they are in common. No, no, it's in order. Yes, you see that they are 4, 8, 12, 16, 24. But they are not in the order, in the order. We're just copying the ones that we completed in this part. And 48 is one of the 12 multiples of 48. Yes, 48 is one of the 12 multiples. So we start from one until the 12, that it's 48. That is gonna be, that. that's why we have 48 here. Finish class, finish this part? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go to the next part here, 26, 27, and 28. It says 26 class. Kia <clears throat> paid $10 for two shares. The price of each share was a multiple of two. Of, here we have the sign of the dollar. What are the possible prices of the shares? How can we solve this class? Look at the information. It says she paid ten dollars for two shares, and the price for it was a multiple of two. So we are looking for a multiple of two class to get ten. Twenty. Twenty. Why twenty? Twenty. Marcelo, why twenty? We are multiplied ten times two. 
No. Look at here. Imagine that you have two objects. This is object number one and object number Eleven. two. The two champs. It's asking for the two champs. For the two of them, you pay in total $10 for the two of them. You pay $10, but it says the price of each of them, so the price of one of them was a multiple of two. The price of the other one also was a multiple of two. What are the possible prices for the sharks? If you pay $10 for the two sharks. Multiples of two, which multiples of two we have? We have four, six, eight, two. So we can write whatever of that class. We can write four dollars. Four dollars can be one of them. It can be eight dollars also. Eight. Eight. It can be two, two dollars. Two dollars. Also, it can be six dollars. Why six dollars? I'm going to write the six dollars. Why? Imagine that here it is it's sharp number one and sharp number two, and you pay in total six. Six for number one, and you pay four for the other one. If you add six plus four, it's equal ten. But I can say no, if they are multiples of two also. No, the number one costs $2 and the second one was $8. If you add them, you get in total 10. And the total of dollars that she spent buying these two, two shards were $10. So that's why I wrote four and six and eight and two. Because one can cost $6 or four and the other two or eight. Yes? Now, next one, 27. The answer is 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. What is the question? What are this, class? They are factors of multiples. 9, 18, 27, 36, or 45. Are factors. Factors. Factors of what? Of which number? Of the table of, of nine. Okay, the table of nine, but they are multiples. Remember the multiples, they are the answer of the, of the table. So what are the multiples? Uh, what are the multiples? The multiples of nine. Multiples of nine. What are the multiples of nine? So the answer is nine, 18, 27, 36, and 45. Factor is the number that you multiply. Multiples is this class. Nine, 18, 27, they are multiples. Because you say nine times one is nine. 9 times 2, 18. 9 times 3, 27. So these are multiples of 9. Next one. How do you know whether a number is a multiple of another number? How can you know that? We know then if we know if it's divisible. Remember, we learn about the rules of divisibility rules. If one number, it can be a multiple of a nor is divisible by the number. So let's write a number is a multiple of a nor number if, if it's divisible by the number. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you finish work and exercise number 29 by yourself, you have to circle if it's true or false, the next exercise, number 29. If it's true or false, the, the question there. Means we are, go we are not going to complete the 25. No, 25, no.
Finished? Yeah. No. Finish. Okay. Finished? Yes. Yes? Okay, let's go to the next slide. Okay. It's the exercise number 29. In 29, we're going to write if it's true or false. We're going to circle if it's true or false, the statement. And it says number 20, 29, the first one. It says if the number of 45 is a multiple of nine, nine yeah. is it true or false? True. 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 45, it's a multiple in the table of nine. You find the 45? Yes. Yes, yes. that's right. Five so times, yes. Five times nine. Five times 45. nine, excellent. Now, number two, the number four, it's a multiple mm. of 16? Yes, yes. Yes. No. You no. find number four in the table of 16? You find oh. the number four? Oh, oh. oh. No, 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 no. Number 28, it's a multiple of four? You find yeah. it the table of 428? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes. Four times what? It's 28. Which number? Four times what? Four times. Four times. Seven. Four, four times, times seven. seven. It's 28. So it's true. The number four, it's a factor of 28. Yeah, I think. So. I can multiply four times seven to get 28. True. Oh, True. Yes. Four is a factor because I multiply four times seven. So four is a factor. The number 32 is a factor of eight. Yes. 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 I can multiply 32 by another number to get eight. Yes. 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 No. no. Okay. If you multiply 38, 32 times one is 32, not eight. 32 times two is going to be 64. It's not eight. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's false class. Okay, perfect. Okay. Time's over, class. Now, remember that you have homework. Your homework is on a Schoology. You have an assessment. I don't finish the question. Finish, I finish. You have an assessment. Okay, you have an assessment on a Schoology about this topic. Factors, multiples, and the visibility class. So, work on that. That is your homework. Bye-bye. Thank you, Santiago Chavez, for showing me your book. Please, can, uh, you, bye -bye. Put, please can you put that page?